Hello, oh, welcome Nina. back. <laughs> what, what did you hear? Shalewa, 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 na Hey, anyway, welcome back. This is your tea time on Plus TV Africa. If you are joining us, uh, you've missed a bit, but not enough to still get the gist of our show and still have a lot of fun this early morning. And also, if you wanted to, if you are really feeling the FOMO, like I want to hear what everybody has said, just go back to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa to get all the details and all the arguments and everything. We're live also as well, so just push the red button back. Um, so yeah, we talked about a lot of things, but we're going to be moving on to some matters concerning Africa. Uh, some of the UK's most prominent people of Ghanaian heritage have joined together to condemn their former homeland for its stance on the gay rights in what will be seen as an extraordinary show of diaspora power. The influential names in fashion, film, and media, including Idris Elba, the Vogue editor-in-chief Edward M. Enifu, Enifu, have signed an open letter to support the gays. <laughs> yeah, LGBTQ community plus. Um, and Naomi Campbell, although not, a Ghanaian not of Ghanaian heritage, also put her name to the letter. Last week, a community center of the LGBT plus people in the West African country, Ghana, closed its doors after mounting pressures by religious groups and anti-gay organizations against sexual minorities. Police later read at the center, its staff said, after the leaders were forced into hiding. The letter is signed by 67 um, celebrities, politicians, and other influential people largely of Ghanaian heritage. They said that they were deeply disturbed by the events and called the Ghanaian president, Nana Akofuado, and other, politi other political leaders to offer protection for the community. We have watched the profound um, concern as you have questions for the LGBTQ. She said, talked and talked and talked. But then um, it's unacceptable to us and, and it's unfair for them to feel unsafe. Even the president has kind of responded and also condemned the act of any Ghanaian being um, obviously being um, put in harm's way and that they're going to look into it. Da, da, da. But we don't know what they're saying about da, 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 gay da, da, rights da. or whatever. Huh? Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot of talking that's going on, basically. So um, your thoughts? Gay rights. Do you hate gays? I'm sorry. Do you hate gays? No, I don't. Do you love gays? I don't hate them. Do you love gays? I don't hate them. Do you have anything against gays? If I was gay, would you present the show with me? Of course. You will? Yeah. Would you be my friend? Do you know if I have gay friends? Hmm? Do you know if I have gay friends? Can you allow her to say what she wants to say? No, like if I let him do, let no, him no, do No, no, no. Do you oh, have gay on, friends? On, I don't know. Do you, you have don't, exactly. <laughs> do you have gay friends? You don't know? Okay, okay. We all don't know. Actually. They might be closeted for all you know. No, mm. do you have a problem with gay people? You just asked and I said I don't. All right, go on. I don't have a problem with them. Well, you said gay rights. Yeah. Mm, like, gay like rights. Gay. Like, yeah, it's, so. it's, let me drop the scope. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming, it's growing. Mm. It's get, even in this hour, Nigeria, mm. like, I don't know, man, like, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you I feel like let, let me just talk. Thoughts, let yeah. me just Coco. excuse me if, I, if can you leave her alone, please? Okay. Let's let me just talk about um Naomi Campbell and um, Idris that are no, talk putting about out, gay people too. Whatever. That are putting their support into this. Where is Idris from again? Uh he Sierra has Leon? Sierra, yeah. And Naomi Campbell. I mean British. Like American, British. Well, British. All of them are from Africa. So why are they speaking. why are they Putting their like supporting because they love Ghana. Because they love Ghana. When I read that story, I went to check the comment section. People were slamming them and saying, "Why don't you go and do, do that? It, Sierra Leone. Go back do to it. your place. Mm. Go to other. Why are you coming here to support I this? Why do you thing? think that is though? Why do you think that they're coming there? I don't know. He no. said because they love Ghana. That's what he no, said. No, I think mm. it's because of um, what has been happening to a lot of gay Ghanaians. No, Ghanians. if you read, even if you read the story, it's there. It said the leaders. The leaders, the people reached out to them. Oh. So when you have, when mm, you seek true, help, true, true. the strong thing about the LGBT community are their allies. And I've said I'm, I'm one of them. He, he, like, hell bet. I'm not she ashamed of that. But you have allies, right? Mm -hmm. Like Christians have that, have that in China, mm. for example. Like when they put China the is a communist um, country okay. that doesn't allow Christianity, yeah. right? Mm. So what they do is that they have strong allies with influence. The bigger your influence, like I'm an ally, but I'm very, I cannot say very any gay person at all. But if I'm Naomi Campbell, mm -hmm. or I'm Idris Elba that have shown interest in Ghana, have shown interest in Africa, and I'm willing to help, then I'm a strong ally. So I speak for the people ca that can't be heard. 
So these leaders are in hiding, meaning that they cannot speak for themselves, and they reached out. So technically speaking, why are they why are they in hiding? Thank because you. of the harm. Did you not read the story? Bro. So there was an incident that happened in Ghana. Mm -hmm. They have a public. You know, in Nigeria too, they have the same thing too. Yeah. They are not, are not, it's illegal, but they are not hiding. Like you said, it's beginning yeah. to grow and grow. Come out. You, I'm sure if I was a gay person they're now, hiding, no. I they're would only have... They're coming out of sports dresses. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. They're, they're coming they're not, out. They're not, they're not hiding. They're, they're coming, coming out. out. But they're having... Because of a coupe. Nah, no, no, no. They're, but they're having safe spaces, right? And if you were gay, you would know that safe space well. Kind of like Christians as well. You have a safe space. I'm sure there's some places you know that a lot of Christians go to this place. Yeah. Or a lot of Christians go to this place. If I go to experience, for example experience is not a church but i know that that's a christian community that's yeah. gathering together muslims have that um hyper people have that oaps have that yeah. do you know what i mean so they have that as well now the, this place is this place was attacked in ghana okay. in accra oh. and they were hurt people were killed i don't know if people were killed but people were harmed killed, people were harmed and stuff that doesn't mean that they've not killed gay people they they do that all the time but anyway they've so hurt them they've hurt yes with a full one As in even in, in nigeria what are you talking about and you know that for a fact if eh, they used to lynch people it's over now in that ghana. the movies have made it a bit more like we can pass their side they used to beat you if you're yeah, they beat if you're them looking and... too funny you don't yeah. Of course, of course. So, um, so what are you on about? Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> that, then that, that, that happened, and then these people reached out. So that's why there's a whole flair about that, and which is why there's also the government addressing the situation because well, people were harmed. He's um, the president of, uh, is it the president? Yes. He's against it, right? He's, he's not even talking about against or for. He's talking about the safety of, of, people. The, of people. these gay people. And I think that's my conversation. So I don't really care. I'm not here to tell anybody how to feel about anyone. Mm. But I think my conversation will remain the same. It doesn't matter what you serve. It doesn't matter your belief. You don't have any right to oppress another person. Yeah, Especially true. on two things. Mm. If the thing that they're doing is not hurting you, and if the thing that they're doing is not hurting themselves, because we cannot say now that, oh, drug dealers can do what they do because it's hurting themselves, yeah. right? This is not hurting anybody. So I think you have the right to do what you need to do. Um, and then... If, even if you're not going to make it legal, I think you should make it illegal for anyone to go and hurt somebody else. It's okay. already illegal. That law is there. To hurt, that, for anyone to hurt somebody else? Yeah, that yeah. law is there. You can hurt I anybody. I mean, make it more specific to the gay community. No, we Why are not? never, ever Why? going to do that. We're going to leave it to not hurting anybody. Okay. Anyone at that. Whether a child, whether a man, whether a woman. But we're never, ever going to make it specific to gay people Why? no you're never going to get that but we, are, we have a specific what it's a privilege to feel safe if it... no for because gay... we have a community you're getting me we wrong. have like feminist no 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 groups, no, no, no don't take me hold oh, on no, please have, let me let me clear like that have... because you already made a statement you just, I mean... no I... wait 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 you're doing this thing you say something you already and then you made a statement oh, yeah, that makes me look like i am anti-gay no Okay. I am just saying that we are not going to make the safety of people specific to gay people. We're going to make it a stand for everyone. everyone. Including them. Yeah, they're oh, included. Wait, yeah. anyone, yeah. anyone. Yeah. Do you relax. know what anyone? Yeah, when you say everyone, relax. they're included. Yes. Of course, when I say okay. everyone, relax, I say relax. Anyone. What I'm trying to say is that I, I understand the approach and it's good. But they, you still have to be more specific and intentional. No. Let me give you an example. No. Let me, wait. Let me if give you I, an example. Wait, stop, wait, no, wait. Let no. me give you speak, an example. Speak, speak. For example, now, there are police people for armed robbers. There are police for um, traffic um, disturbance or whatever. Mm. There is NGOs built for children, specifically. Mm. There's NGOs built for human mm. trafficked people. Mm. There's NGOs built for women with domestic violence. Mm -hmm. I think they should start to create let spaces. Wait, let her speak, please. They ha they I think they have to create spaces for people who are asking for help. This community that was banned, that was damaged in Ghana served as that. A community to protect the gay people. And it was banned. So there shouldn't be any rights for anyone to do something like that. Can I ask you a question? Now, I like the fact that you brought the police force into play. Mm. Now, we saw a video like two weeks ago of a man who knocked off a police officer off the bridge, right? Yeah. Now, that's a traffic police officer. Now, when that guy went to court, mm -hmm. what they charged him for was endangerment of life, reckless driving, mm. um, this, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Mm. You understand? They did not say because he's not an armed robber. It is, these are the charges we are going to give to you. 
Huh? The fact that he is a police officer, he got the same charges. The guy who committed the crime got the same charges as if he had knocked off a SAS official. If yeah. he had knocked off a okay. last man. Yeah. If he had knocked me off the bridge. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The only thing that was different was resisting arrest. Mm. Do you understand? What's the point I went from, what, what now the point say? is that we are not going to make anything specific for gay people. We're just going to make it specific for humanity, for mm. the fact. To life, the right to life, so the can right I give, to live, in, in your, the right to have your opinions. The to, right uh, to can do can they have things. the right to love as well? To love? Yes, because they don't have that right. They don't it's have that right. No, they don't have that right. It's against right. the law because it's against the law. <laughs> okay. Are you not getting it? In Ghana, it is, in Ghana, in yes, Ghana, in Nigeria, it is against the well, law you're just to be that gay. For everybody, so how come all of a sudden they shouldn't have the same rights that you have? I'm telling you that it is against the law. Totally the mean. law has never told me that I, I personally, yeah. for Lua, yeah. don't have the right to love you. Or lover. But the, the, okay, so what about the law in America that said black people should be categorized as properties? Should we not have changed that law? Okay. So can so laws can be changed. Hmm, she got me deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's move on. Veteran Nigerian musician Innocent Idivia, alias Two Face, has said that people who claim to be fighting for God are simply insulting the power of God. The Opal crooner took to his Instagram story to share his thoughts on the way religion is being practiced in Nigeria. He noted that God has given human beings everything we need to survive and scale through life. He further added that people should not lose their sense of reasoning all in the name of obeying or believing in God. In his words, God is too much. So any human that claims they are fighting for God or Bobo is downgrading and insulting God, my God has packed everything he come add brain join. My God don't package everything for us including brain. So, um, I think this is a very good um, follow-up story to um, what we were discussing for me personally because I feel the same way about that community because of my relationship with God. And I always know for a fact that I can never understand the mind of God mm -hmm. and I can never really fight for God because he doesn't need my fighting. And I know that at the end of the day, it is very personal and that you can look at me all you want and you can feel it in your soul and heart and brain that this is wrong, but at the end of the day, it is between me and God. And only God is sure what's going to happen. So I, I think that's something that people, people who are religious should start to think about. I was talking to a friend about, um, you know, this gay stuff that happened in Ghana. when we were having Because I like to have a conversation before I come on set so I mm -hmm. know where my mind is at. And, you know, um, the person was saying that, but, you know, she has to protect her space. That this is, God doesn't like that. And, da -da 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 -da. and we were talking, talking, talking. She's really good with the scripture. And she opened up somewhere that actually revealed to her. And she kind of surrendered it to God that she's not going to be concerned about these people anymore because she used to be very adamant and vocal about condemning them. And what we came to, re what we came to re realization of that is that your belief and your idea of what God wants cannot actually ever be fulfilled on, can never look like, basically what I'm saying is heaven cannot look, heaven, earth cannot look like heaven, mm -hmm. ever. And we have to accept that, that on this earth, not everyone is going to be Christian or Muslim or whatever you hold, and not everyone is going to be like you. So you can create your own space yeah. and keep that space. But then when you start to feel like you are entitled to make everybody else's space look like yes, yours, thanks. you're doing something wrong. And I don't even think God in himself would want that. Um, okay, um, it's true that nobody can actually fight for God. We can't. Nobody, nobody can fight for God. But what about, um, what about the... Um, the, the pastors that we have teaching the word, like uh, you mentioned something about um, you can, you can like take for example the gay thinking. If you if you are against it or not, it it actually doesn't matter because at the end of the day they have to just face, it's between whoever and yeah. God, it's yeah. between that person yeah. and God or you and God. So, what about the the, the the pastors and all those that teach what is in the um, scripture it's perfectly fine and they will find their followers which they do mm -hmm. and i think they even make efforts to even spread their followers which they do and they have the freedom to do that but if i don't want to follow your pastor i should Just, also be allowed to do that and do you know what i mean the, i think you can have that conversation about whether or not somebody is doing something wrong if they have said i'm following your conduct right because i think everybody has a conduct mm -hmm. i'm following the <laughs> conduct. i say i'm a christian i'm a vocal christian and then in my church it's very clear that this is what the bible has said this is how we believe the bible to be interpreted and then i'm doing otherwise i think you have the right to then call me and say oh more i don't think the thing is whatever whatever yeah. but if i've said to you that i'm not part of that but then you're taking it to the legal community we are using your your power now to vote against my freedom to vote against my safety because your community has said something else i i think it's a bit unfair hmm. 
for me, I believe that um, what belongs to Caesar should be given to Caesar, right? Mm. Now, in the sense that the scripture preaches certain things, yeah. and you need to understand no? the Bible. Okay. Just the Quran regarded as scripture? Yes. Is it? I didn't know that. No I'm asking. Is it? Yes. Are you sure? Do you want me to define what the scripture is? Go on. A holy text. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now, so if the scripture preaches certain things, right? I believe that as Christians, mm. we should uphold them and understand them. Mm. Now, it's not left for my pastor to tell me about my understanding. Mm. Because if I read a certain thing and my pastor reads the same thing and he has this understanding and I have this understanding, mm. do not go against my understanding. And do not say because you have this understanding, but because my pastor said this, I have to go with what my pastor said. Now, in this case of Two Face saying that now, fight mm, don't fight for God. Now, I saw a video over the weekend of a man. He was in church. It was a white guy in church. He said, he says, anyone who has read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, mm. please put your hand up. Nobody could put their hand up in the congregation. Really? And they all go to church. Have you? Yes. I haven't. And they all go to church. Is no that, one. But it doesn't define you. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. I'm getting somewhere with okay. this. Now, no one could. And the pastor said, if a witch should disturb your life, a witch comes to your dream, a witch comes to you in your sleep and destroys your life. I will buy that witch recharge card. Ah, because you don't... I mean, I don't, I don't <laughs> hold care. up, hold up. Now, the pastors were saying all of these things and I was listening and they were nodding their head. And I was like, that is not what Christianity is about. So he thinks that the, um, reading, reading the Bible the cannot harm him because Now, if I read from Genesis, I've read my biology... I think we all read Amoeba. I think we all read all of those things. I did not understand every single bit. Yes, of course. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, if I read from Genesis to Revelation, mm. and I do not understand a certain place, mm. it's not my fault. Or I understood it up to the point that I could. Mm. Do you understand? Now, if a witch comes, it says, uh, your destiny, my man, you go go So, why are witches even coming? What kind of... <laughs> if I wrap it, uh, wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, are I you guys scared of witches? No, I want to get... I want to see where you're going to. Like, where All right, you so my to. point here is, um, don't fight for God. Because you can't. Because Nobody you really can't. Mm. Nobody can. And already, he fought for us. Mm. Do you understand? <laughs> First becoming a pastor. I'm a pastor. That was, <laughs> she didn't know that about wait, me. Wait, wait. I, 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 want, I want to correct something you said. You said that if you have a pastor and he reads mm -hmm. the scripture and you read the scripture, he can't tell you that this is not that. Yeah. I feel like that's wrong. How? Yeah, sometimes I read the scripture. I don't understand it. Mm. But when I listen to a pastor... Somebody All right, else, let me give you yeah. an example. I'm coming. Let me finish. And the person explains it properly for me. I get to understand that. Okay, Better. so this is it. No, seen... There were times when I used to think that, okay, when I was in university... Ah, I was so I was very young then. Mm. So um yes, I <laughs> I was really very, very young then. Very young. So um then I I had issues with my lecturer mm. and then I had to rewrite that course, you know. So I, I feel God was punishing me for something that I've done. Mm. And I had that mindset in my head. That was what I was thinking. <laughs> Imagine I I used to read the Bible then like mm. I read the Bible then um then like that, that period. That lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that period. um whatever You're not having that mindset that god was punishing me for something it stayed with me for a long time mm. until i i was i was given a different um explanation about it mm. so i understood that okay god cannot actually it's not it's it doesn't happen that way okay, but have you, ever you had, went to one pastor right have you ever had, i didn't mean i never go to pastors a, I know, um have you ever not disagreed with a pastor i have i have okay. i have i have and even when they explain you're like bro it doesn't make I sense have, okay, i have i right. have and apart from that now from what she's saying now i'm not a pastor if okay somebody explained that part to you mm -hmm. and you accepted it because it was relatable to you at that moment mm. now you go to another pastor it will give you another definition mm. it will tell you that you're actually being punished for this and no to to you know the truth is the truth is what um two-faced said is true we actually have the power to understand that word. yes we do when 
when you read, you can actually understand. But the thing is, it's just like when you have, uh, when you make um, stew and rice, you're having stew and rice, and then you have plantain on it. Mm. It makes it go well, like you enjoy yeah. it. Even more. No, it doesn't. That is yeah, it. it. Does. No, please, not maybe meat for you, more meat. <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, I, 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 I think, I think. T we need to take this thing really personally because this is something that I would preach a lot and I preach a lot with Nigerians. I think in this culture, we don't give space for differences at all, which is why in Africa, we're the, one of the only few countries Thank that don't you. allow gay rights. And which is Here why is pastors a very good are becoming gods. It is a very good example to, sh to check yourself. Nobody is saying encourage them. Yeah. Nobody is saying join them. They are saying you don't have a right to take somebody else's life no, which because is you cannot... You Which cannot, and there is a lot of harm being done by emphasizing that your faith is the reason why you're doing that. And there's a there's a good church in um, oh in really SA. yes mm. there's a good church in SA called um, that the, this is the sister church of um, Hillsong. I've forgotten the name now. And this pastor gave a fantastic approach to that, and that's because his son was hiding the whole time, married very like Christian and all of that, but he was married and was hiding gay, gay or whatever, and he used to go to this funny place in the night when nobody knows so he can live his truth or whatever. And he basically got attacked because they found out who he was. And, no. and people killed him. And people killed him because he was supposed to be mm. Christian and all mm. of that. You see, they did that with the ginger of faith. Maybe you are not Christianity. as extreme. Maybe you're not as extreme as that. But I yeah. still think that sometimes your, your faith needs to be... Um, needs to be re-evaluated, especially in how you execute it. Because I can love someone mm -hmm. and then kill the person because I love the person. No, so my intention was good, but how I executed it was bad. And away from gays or whatever, I think in general, when you see somebody that's not doing the same thing that you want, because I know some people not just want to tune out gays, mm. even if it's as simple as the person who maybe sleeps around or doesn't dress the way you like or mm. doesn't talk the way you like. Or wears too much makeup. Or wears too much makeup mm. or, you know, does certain things. I think grace... That you that mm. is in your scripture Preach, it needs pastor. to be something that you do Preach. because the only difference. Preach, actually, girl. Do you know that in in the eyes of God, you mm. and that gay person, there is not a single difference. Your Preach. righteousness true, true. is as good as filthy rags. I read like again, you know, I, I did Genesis to Revelation just you because know. I'm not yeah whatever. But I, that was my <laughs> life. Stop. Yes, you Shall can. Stop. So I think it's something you need to do because people will give unsolicited advice only in the name of God. And I bet with you, a lot of people who think they fight for mm. God don't. They fight for their own comfortability. Mm. It irritates me because you don't fight that way. When I tell you that I slept with my boyfriend. Yeah. Your voice reduces. If yeah, I tell you that I just paid the no, no. last man guy 1,000 hours so I could go out after curfew. That's true. You don't get you. irritated. In so summary, what are you on about? All things are equal. Yes. Okay. Moving, I said you're Catholic. Moving That's on. True, <laughs> See, you said my mind. God bless um, you. A representative for the Duchess of Success additionally calls the claims by royal aides who accused the expectant mom of humiliating and reducing staff members to tears an attack on her character. This is Megan. Megan uh, Marco has fired back at bullying allegations leveled at her by royal aides. After reports surfaced on the expect expectant mom allegedly humiliating and reducing staff members to tears during her time as Kessent at the Kessentings Palace. A representative for the Duchess of Success calls the accusation an attack on her character. The Duchess has, is saddened by the latest attack and um, basically said, um, addressing the, the bullying claims. Anyway, this story is basically about how the media has said that this woman was bullying people at the palace and she's actually a horrible person. And her spokesperson and lawyer is saying that she believes that it's the palace that's behind this thing to basically deliberately hurt her character. Can I ask agree question? or disagree? Can I ask a question mm. before we even agree or disagree? Yeah. Do we believe that when somebody in the position of power, right, mm. makes certain decisions for their own comfort, and you that is a subordinate feels like you're being bullied. Does that happen? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. So it we does. can go on. Yeah, I, and I think a lot of people do that. Sometimes I always, I, I want to ask um, servers, you know, like gate men and whatever, mm. when they have some certain attitudes towards their own work. It's mm. like, why are you doing something... So because you, you think I'm a princess or duchess, I'm not going to correct because you. Because it's not just princess of duchess. So when I read this story, I thought about it, that if they ask my gate man now, especially maybe last week, Sunday, they'll tell me that, they'll tell him that I'm a wicked person because I asked you to open the gates. Yeah. On Sunday, I was oh, yeah. with the family. The midnight. Do you know what my gate man did one thing one day? <laughs> I, I, I came back <laughs> at about 3 a.m. And dude was like, okay, Faye, you did come back late, too. <laughs> you did come back too late, too. I was like, what? I pay you my money monthly, <laughs> and you have the guts to be telling me about what time I'm gonna be coming home. 
Do you understand? It's around and the I same delayed his salary for like three weeks. Oh, you pay him directly? Wow. I pay to, it's, it's a joint thing. I didn't right. pay to the group. Do you understand? Because just because of that, you don't have to write. I pay for it. You fair? I wish Plastic can be holding your salary like that because you should misbehave. Me? Yes. Me? No. Plastic, ask, are you hearing? Ask, Please ask take notes. Plus TV. They Please know. take notes. If you ever they know comes... I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the most well-behaved person in this organization. No, but absolutely. I think I think there's a... Yeah, there's absolutely. A, there's Thank a, you very much. <laughs> for, I, there is I, a I sense of entitlement that. to um, um, people... Subordinates. Yes, who have bad attitudes. I mean, that it, 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 it goes two ways. You can be really rude when you're correcting somebody. And I know that, I've, I'm yeah, not going to lie, it's too though. common in yeah. Nigeria. I don't see it anywhere else because um, Nigeria is the poorest place I've lived in. So I guess there's a lot more power um, drift going on. But here, people enjoy talking to their staffs anyhow. And maybe that's why I'm suffering it now. Because even when I now <laughs> ask for my rights, it's like, I'm not going to be bullied anymore. And they're being extra. I still think people have... The, the right to, uh, to say that the manner in which you scolded them is wrong, yes. But then it goes the same way to that. I still have a right to ask you to do your job, even if you don't feel like it because that is your job. But um, with this story, it's getting really tricky. I just, I, what I want to say to the story is everybody should go and watch their interview with, the, um, with Oprah because mm. they're spinning a lot of juice and Twitter is going crazy about the story. But if that's what they're doing, I'm not going to be surprised. She was a black woman who came and disrupted a lot mm. of things. Yeah. And if she did that with, in her own right, and I think she's allowed to do that, and her husband wanted her to do it, and they're doing it together, so they should go jump off the lagoon, the whole of the royal family. But Ooh. if you don't have anything else to say, we need to wrap I up. I love really Megan, though. I love Megan. Oh, this sorry. Watch the um, interview. I'll watch it. Yes, exactly. So maybe we'll talk about it tomorrow after we watch it. But that is a wrap today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and joining the conversation. Throughout, if you started from the, from the beginning of the show and you're still here, you are a real G. Please don't forget to use the hashtag tweet tea time or tweet at us at plus civic africa or our personal accounts and just reach us to, to lash us or agree with us with anything that we've said to all our exclusive content and the ones before that you can join our, our youtube channel at plus civic africa you can also watch tea time on arthur tv and in london on ben television a big thank you out to my my crankers today em, emerald and ife for You're keeping welcome. it jiggy and of course the entire production team thank you for watching my name is if you're my your favorite don't worry, I'll tell them adios mm -hmm.